What is up, everybody? Jason here with Jaspies. We just sold out a brand new release today, guys. 2024 Panini National Treasures Collegiate Football Two Box Half Case Break Pikachu Number One, guys. And remember, guys, there is an NIL spot that we sold. So remember, any non-pro NIL cards go to the NIL spot, and just know, of course, as college rules apply. There's not always, there's never really an official checklist for the NFL, right? Because it's collegiate. So we go by our college rules, as we call them. Teams they played for the longest have retired. Current team if they're active. Tiebreaker would be uh, games after years. And then here are the customers that bought in. Thank you guys for the people that bought in straight up. And of course, a big thank you to the guys that got into the RB that features Washington, Chicago, Baltimore, the Rams, Seahawks, and the Titans. There's the customer names there for you guys. All right, so <clears throat> without further ado, here we go. Let's get the case rolling. Now remember, I'm going to be tagging all of these two guys for the sorting team because sometimes it is a little hard to keep track of where these players are. Now we're going to know right away some players. We're probably not going to know some other players, you know. It just depends on if they're big names or not. And again, this is a two-box half case, so first half here, second half at number two. One, two, for the, one, two three for the left, four, five, six for the right. It looks like we got a five, so one, two, three, four, five, six. These two boxes will be for the next break, which hopefully we can also get that done today with me before Joe gets here in about an hour and a half. All right, here we go, guys. So like I said, I'm probably going to R&B up the remaining teams too as well, right after this. So I'll give you guys like maybe five minutes or so after this break is over to see if you guys want to take a shot at the team straight up. If not, r and is going to be around 50 bucks. So we got a couple of booklets. All right, we got John Elway, of course. Denver Broncos. That's a little easier one. And we got Kyron Williams to 99. That is for the Rams. And then uh, we're going to have a randomizer here, most likely. Uh, 54 out of 75. That features Jordan Travis, Keon Coleman, Trey Benson, and Johnny Wilson. So a couple of those guys, of course, are all everywhere. So we'll have to randomize that later. Let's see who that goes to. And of course, if an R&B does represent a player, let's just say, for instance, let's just say Johnny Wilson was a... Uh, he's an Eagle, but let's just say he's an R&B team. And he wins. It'll go to spot four, for instance. But we'll do that. We'll deal with that later. Keely Ringo to 75. And that is a Philadelphia Eagle. That looks like an update, too, from 2023. Yeah. All right. Then we got our first... Patch Auto, Kate Stover, RPA to 15, 14 of 15. And like I said, they actually do have Flawless in this, guys. So that makes me believe they're not making their own standalone Flawless product anymore. They're just combining NT and Flawless together. Kate Stover does sound familiar. Kate Stover is a Texan. That's who I thought, yeah. Fourth round pick for the Texans. So that's Houston Texans going to Aaron. All right, we got another booklet. Braylon Allen to 99. That's for the Jets. There you go. Little rookie booklet. And then we have a Zeke Elliott. Patch autograph, 13 out of 20. That's going to go to the Dallas Cowboys. 
Dallas Cowboys is Scott. And last one here is a prospect rookie patch auto. That's Brian Thomas Jr. to 25 for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Going to EA. Very nice. Good to big time receiver there, actually. All right, there's the first box. This doesn't seem like a crazy car, but it, it is, right? Drake May. 24 to 50. Very nice there for the Patriots going to Karen Steele. Then we have a B. John Robinson relic. See Lana Falcons going to Leonard. Then we have a Leonard Taylor the third to seventy-five. Leonard Taylor the third is a New York Jet. New York Jet. Damn, he's not, he's not lying to you. He's not lying to you, Sonny. Pelogino's not lying. Jets going to Eric. Then we have running back there from uh, Washington, Dylan Johnson, to 25. That's a little diamond autograph. Very nice. And, of course, Dylan... I forgot where he went to. He wasn't a tough... I don't even think he got drafted, actually. He was a pretty solid running back, though. In college. Yes, he's uh, for the Carolina Panthers. Then we have a Quinton Johnston. RPA there. 15 of 15. That's also an update from Flawless. So that's going to go to these uh, Chargers, Jeff Gordon. And then we have Jalen Ford, RPA, 22 out of 25. See where Jalen Ford is. <laughs> Jalen Ford is a Saint, drafted in the fifth round. Saints, that's going to mark. And then we have a little, a little Eric Dickerson, nice one there from SMU, fifty-one out of ninety-nine. And I believe he played for the Rams the longest. I'll double check that right now. Started off his career with the Colts, went to the Rams. And if that is the case, that's the first R&B hit. And yes, yes. It's so actually five years with the Rams, five years with the Colts. But did play the tiebreaker 65 games with the Rams compared to 61 with the 
with the Indianapolis Colts. So yes, that is going to be a ram. That is part of the random number block. So that's going to go to spot 1, 51 out of 99, which is Joseph K. And last one here is for the Chargers, I believe, Lab McConkey. 45 out of 99. And yes, it is Chargers. Chargers, that's going to go to Jeff Gordon. All right, well, unfortunately, card-wise here, there was only one hit for the R&B. So and that, just, that, that just makes me believe, guys, that there are going to be a lot of big hits for the Commanders, definitely the Bears of Romo Dunze, and all those other teams that were part of the R&B since they didn't really get much. And also, we didn't get an NIL. They usually do put at least one or two NILs in a whole case, so NIL spot might be a pretty solid one to, pat, uh, to grab in the second half, guys. But let's quickly uh, do this randomizer here. And then I'll do a recap. So I believe Jordan Travis, uh, I don't remember if he ended up getting drafted, but I know he's on a team. I remember seeing him in preseason. That's right, he's on the Jets. Okay, so Jordan Travis is going to represent the Jets. So let's see. And then uh, Keon Coleman, of course, is Buffalo. And then Trey Benson, I believe, is a... Uh, uh, Buck, I think, no? No, sorry. Is this the same dude? Yes, it is. This is uh, Cardinals, sorry. So Cardinals... And then last one, of course, is Johnny Wilson. He plays for my Eagles. All right, sweet. So that'll be a randomizer right there between those four teams there. Jets, Buffalo, AZ, and Philadelphia. Let's click, don't roll the dice. Uh, six and a three, nine times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it stays with the Jets after nine times. New York Jets get that quad, which is Eric. Alrighty, guys. And like I said, obviously some nice cards here in the first half. Definitely still feel like there should be some good stuff in the second half with that Keely Ringo booklet. You know, they got the Kate Stover there. Uh, Braylon Allen booklet. You got the Zeke. Brian Thomas Jr., the Drake May base there. B. John Robinson relic. You know, Dylan Johnson, Quinton Johnson, Jalen Ford, Lad McConkey. Uh, E.D. And, of course, that quad there. And then you had a couple base here, too. Veterans with that, uh, John Elway and, um, Kyron Williams. So, like I said, guys, love to do the second half. I do feel like there's some good heat hide in there. Uh, so if you guys want to run it back, jazbeescasebreaks.com. If not, I'm probably going to RMB it up soon, guys. Thank you.